guess it was 14 years ago when I came here with my dear friend Dorothy who's 97 years old now, but I guess back then she was, I don't know, in her 80s. And she loved men in uniform and horses. We would just come by and bring apples and carrots for the horses. And I started to bring my camera along. And one day we were sitting watching a training session and we, I somehow miraculously grabbed this amazing shot. It was crowd control pictures, uh, public order unit with the riot gear and the shields and they were all lined up perfectly and the, the sunlight was just hitting them exactly right. And it was such a big thrill for me to see the power of a photo and the effect that that picture had on, I guess it was maybe the pride of the unit or whatever, they just loved that picture so much that it just inspired me to try to one-up myself for the next 14 or 15 years. This picture is PC Patrick Penny and Royal standing down at Humber Bay and there was a storm coming and the, the fog that just rolled in there was just spectacular and he's just silhouetted against the, against the skyline and it just really captures just an officer on patrol and how sometimes they're all by themselves on a horse and it's just the two of them and I just love this picture. I really love it. This is when we're in the Trinity Church. Joel wanted his picture taken with Eddie outside the church because his dad was the pastor there back in the day. And so the caretaker was in there and he said, hey, you want to take a picture of the horse inside the church? And I went, are you kidding? Of course I would. So up we go. He, that horse just went straight into the church. Joel had to duck down to get in because the door is so tiny. Get him in there. Turn, and I said, but what about the floor? I mean, these horses have... And he said, oh, I'll just put the old rug down. So he put an old rug down there. And there's, there's Eddie just standing there on the rug in, in, the, in the middle of a church. I thought, I am never getting this opportunity again, ever. And the funniest part was when we, when we finally finished the shoot and the doors flew open on the church and this horse comes thundering out down the stairs, all the people who were in the courtyard who didn't know he was in there, they all just like were fumbling for their cell phones and taking pictures and what is happening? It was very funny. It was a funny day. This is a shot of Spencer and Moose. Spencer was the oldest horse in the barn. He'd been serving here the longest. And the horse who's with him is Moose, who was the youngest recruit in the barn. And I thought it would be cute to get a shot of the outgoing champion and the incoming newbie. And so we stood them in the barn door so that it was all dark behind and the, just with the natural light and they just interacted for a while and this was the best shot. Staff Inspector Bill Wardle, he's the Staff Inspector for the mounted unit, marine unit, and the dogs. So he wanted an image that brought all three of those together. So we arranged to meet down at Ashbridge's Bay around, I guess it was 5.30 in the morning, so I had to get up at the crack of dawn. Standing in the parking lot in the pitch dark with the horses and dogs, and, and we found the spot where we wanted to be. There's the skyline in the back, and um, we just basically stood around waiting for the sun to come up. and. So the horse and the dog were not looking where they were supposed to be looking. It was just chaos. The picture wasn't coming together. A duck flew down, splashed in the water, and both the horse and the dog just both looked at, 
at the same time and I just snapped and that was the picture. <laughs> it worked. A lot of the horses are named in honor of our military and our military history. Juno Beach, um, Vimy Ridge, um, even Grenadier and Brigadier, and they're all military names. So that shot was taken at the Cenotaph in Kew Gardens, a memorial to First World War veterans, and um, that was PC Harold Williamson. It was for a Remembrance Day poster, and actually it was accidental. First we shot him on the horse and then I asked him to get off the horse and Harold just put his head down and then the horse put his head down at the same time and it's just one of those moments where you just take the picture and it just it's just given to you this moment and you capture it and it's a gift. Spencer is probably one of the most famous horses in the stable. He was a champion. Uh, everyone loved him and I knew he was going to retire so I made sure that the day that he was leaving that I was down here and I had it in my head I was going to just do a little mini project on Spencer's last day so that's PC Patrick Penny taking off his street shoes for the very last time which was quite a task because they're really nailed on there. And here's Spencer with his bare feet, finally. And there's his gigantic shoes. Uh, here he is getting led out of the barn for the very last time with a mouthful of hay, getting in the trailer. Off he goes to the country, and he's gone to an absolutely beautiful farm. And here he is discovering his new paddock, and this is his new life, kicking up his heels and just absolutely loving it. It was just such an emotional moment for me. I had tears in my eyes <laughs> knowing that this is, he's, he deserved this, you know, he really deserved this retirement. And there's a family there with young children, he gets to roll in the dirt and here he is burying his nose in the clover and just taking a great big sniff of the green grass and, and that's his new home. <laughs>